New at 10, this Covington mother is behind bars after court documents say she confronted a teenage boy with a baseball bat and then pepper sprayed him. The documents say the victim had a history with her son. Cordy King spoke with the victim and his mom in an interview you will only see right here on Fox 19 Now. Yeah, Trisha and Robert live outside the Kenton County Detention Center because this is where Helen Combs is being held on a $5,000 bond. She faces a second degree burglary charge. We did speak with the victim and his mom who tell us that they believe she attacked him in retaliation because the victim punched her son for allegedly stealing a knife from him. This lady was like, I want to talk to your mom. I said, my mom's not here right now. I was pretty scared, actually. I told her to leave. Colton Eversoll and his family are recovering after this woman, Helen Combs, allegedly attacked the teenager on Sunday. You don't come up here and say that you came up here to talk, but you came up here with a bat and mace and a taser to talk to a 13-year-old boy. Court documents say Combs showed up to the Eversoll home Sunday with a baseball bat and a stun gun. She allegedly knocked so hard she damaged their door. She forced her way in. She pushed me out the way and went in, went inside. And I was, uh, and, I, and we just pushed her out. And then she walked down here. The documents say a physical fight broke out in the front yard of the house. I, I said, please don't pepper spray me. She pepper sprayed me and I uh, walked at her. She tased me and I punched her. You can see Combs' eye is swollen in her booking photo. The family says there's still blood on their sidewalk from the fight. The citation says both Combs and Colton were taken to different hospitals. Yeah, my eyes were burning. My eyes were swollen up. The family says Combs attacked Colton in retaliation for punching her son. A week prior to this happening, um, her son stole a knife out of his room and he went to get it back like the same night. He knew, realized it was gone, went to get it back. And when the boy gave it back, he punched him. Both Colton and his mom hope the two families can put this behind them. Do you just want to move on from this beef? Yeah. It needs to be left alone and move on. Move on. And Helen Combs will be back in court on Tuesday, May 7th. We're live in Kenton County. Courtney King, Fox 18 Now. Courtney, thank you. News tonight.